The following is a transcript of a conversation between Matthias de Stefano, referred to as me, and his higher self, referred to as I am. 24th May, 2021, Circulatory Lymphatic Me And in my breath I nourish the body. But how do those nutrients specifically reach every part of my physical being? I am. Not just nutrients, but many other things, like metabolites, oxygen, carbon dioxide, hormones, among other substances such as proteins and minerals that are distributed to every corner of your body by the circulatory system. It incorporates in itself another system that you call lymphatic, and they are the two that we will talk about today. If yesterday we explained that the respiratory system is like the universal expansion and implosion in the plane of the spirits, We can understand, then, that the circulatory is the system that distributes to living beings their energy. That is, they are the millions of channels through which souls manifest themselves in bodies. Me. Oh, it's as if this system is the one that connects the paths of each individual through time and space, the circulation of all the data of the universe, of all the stories that each being lives. I am. So let's understand these channels that beings use for universal experimentation. The circulatory system, precisely, is dedicated to generating the circulation of everything that is loose inside the body, and it does so thanks to a complex system of roads and highways. Of course, the most recognized part of this system by all is the heart. The heart is a muscle composed of special cells and neurons, which receive and send electrical pulses that contract and distend the cells of the organ, causing contractions that we receive as heartbeats. Me. Wait, does the heart have neurons? I am. Yes, just like the intestines. Me. What? I am. That's right. It may seem strange, because we commonly consider that the brain is the organ composed of neurons. However, each type of neurons has a specific function. They are cells that receive and send information, and therefore these other two essential centers for life need to know how to make their own decisions without depending 100% on the brain. Me. Sure, it makes sense. I am. Thus, you can understand that the heart feels and thinks. This organ is located in the pectoral cavity, in the chest, slightly placed to the left, contained by the left lung, which is why it is smaller, although both lungs surround it. Covered by the thymus, it is protected by the ribs and sternum, as it is one of the main sources of life in the body. The heart is the engine that allows the circulation of all the fluids and nutrients that feed the body and give energy. Without it, nothing would reach its destination. Me. How do you do it? I am. The heart receives electrical signals from its own neurons from a sector in the right atrium called the sinus node, which is like a pacemaker and keeps the rhythm of the heartbeat. In addition, these neurons are connected to the brain that regulates general functions. The heart is connected mainly with the lungs, sources of oxygenation, necessary base to be transported at every moment to each cell. Let's go in parts. The reason for the existence of this whole system is blood. Although blood is considered one of the four Greco-Roman humors, internal fluids, in reality blood should be considered more of an organic tissue that behaves in liquid form and in solid form. The liquid tissue is called plasma, and it allows the complex conjunction of all the solid forms that move inside it. Erythrocytes, commonly called red blood cells, and leukocytes, called white blood cells. In addition to thrombocytes, known as platelets, erythrocytes carry oxygen throughout the body and attach carbon dioxide to itself to be released from the body. They arise from stem cells, generated in the bone system. Leukocytes originate in the bone marrow and their main function is to identify pathogens in the bloodstream. That is, they are part of the blood defense system. While thrombocytes are waste cells used to correct ruptures, wounds, covering and regenerating damaged tissues, useful in hemostasis, stopping of blood, to prevent bleeding. Along with these three, minerals, bacteria, viruses, proteins, and hormones travel, which are distributed throughout the body. Thus, the blood functions as a kind of irrigation channel, 
rivers that descend from the mountains, filling the valleys with streams, canals, ditches, and all kinds of irrigation systems, carrying minerals and nutrients from the mountains to the fields to give life to every plant and animal in its path, which in our body we will call cells. Me. Source of life. Vital energy. I am. The main source of energy generation is through breathing and feeding. In these two systems, the respiratory and the digestive, the body receives all the necessary chemical bases, which are filtered by the alveoli in the lungs and by the filaments of the small intestine, passing directly into the bloodstream through the capillaries. Me. So it's not that they all pass through the heart first, but they enter the circulation system through each blood capillary that connects to the whole body. I am. The capillaries are so called because they are fine as hair, and in a similar amount, some so tiny that they seem invisible. They surround every tissue of every organ. This allows oxygen to reach every corner of the body, and carbon dioxide can be cleaned from every part of the system, as well as helping hormones and proteins reach every cell in the body. Hormones will cause chemical reactions in contact with cells, while proteins will perform multiple functions, such as transporting nutrients, lipids, vitamins, minerals, or as enzymes that facilitate chemical reactions so that cells can better process energy. The irrigation system, then, arises from this tiny and quantitative network of capillaries that reach each corner of the body, which join each other in the main organs, some of them giving oxygen, and the others receiving carbon dioxide. These thousands of capillaries are joined to larger capillaries until they form conduits that we call veins and arteries, which carry the greatest amount of blood, such as state highways receiving or distributing traffic from regional highways and surrounding roads to the streets of the cellular suburbs or dirt roads through forests and mountains. But in turn, they join the national highways, called aorta and cava, Connected to the center of the city, the heart. Me. Wow. What is the difference between vein and artery? I am. In short, through the veins it is received and through the arteries it is given. The veins are responsible for receiving from the organs all waste, mainly carbon dioxide, which will be excreted on exhalation, as well as various wastes through perspiration. The arteries are responsible for distributing oxygen to each organ. Therefore, the arteries are the routes of entry and distribution, while the veins are the routes of exit and collection. You will see the arteries red, just like erythrocytes, because their pigmentation is due to oxidation by oxygen loading, while veins will turn bluish due to lack of oxygen and the presence of carbon dioxide. Me. Oh, okay. I understand that now. So what is the role of the heart precisely? I am. Boost this flow, like the valve or pump to draw water from a well. The heart is an organ divided into four parts or cavities, of which the upper two are called atria, small ears in Latin, and the lower two ventricles, small bellies in Latin, because their shapes resemble these parts of the body. The heart is like the center of a big city, where major highways meet, creating gigantic curves and intersections. Here you have to pay special attention. Me. Okay. It's almost like receiving directions to enter a mega capital without GPS. I am. Something like that. The good thing is that you can't go wrong, but you just have to follow the flow of traffic. All waste, the large amount of carbon dioxide, is received in the heart through the superior and inferior vena cava, filling the right atrium, which by pressure of the plasma opens the tricuspid valve, three portal-shaped membranes, which enable the entry of deoxygenated blood into the right ventricle, which, when contracting, pushes the plasma to the pulmonary artery that fragments in two to the right and left lung. This artery receives carbon dioxide to be expelled from the system. At the same time, oxygen from the lungs is received by the superior and inferior pulmonary veins to the left atrium, which, when filled, impels the mitral valve to open, named for its resemblance to the mitre, the papal cap, giving way to oxygenated plasma to the left ventricle, which, when contracting in the heartbeat, will carry blood through the aorta. This will have three exits upwards, 
to the brachiocephalic trunk that goes to the head, to the carotid trunk through the neck to the brain, and the subclavian that connects with the sides of the body like the arms, while the same aorta bends itself as a huge curve that directs downwards, irrigating all the major organs. The pressure of the heartbeat is what allows the blood to be constantly in movement and circulation, irrigating every cell in every organ in every corner. Me. It's fascinating. A perfect system. Sometimes it gives the impression that it is impossible that this system has been random by mere evolutionary and adaptive circumstance. It is such a complex system that it provokes the idea that there must have been someone designing this. I am. And to this you must add the complement of purging of the circulatory system. Me. Which one? I am. The lymphatic system. Lympha comes from the Greek nymph, nymphae, pure water divinities, representing newlywed virgins, the inspiration of the new. In Latin, the N was transformed into L, being lympha, giving meaning to water and its purity. This irrigation system is a system parallel to the blood, responsible for absorbing interstitial fluid, that is, that which accumulates between the tissues of the cells, such as certain lipids. By constricting valves, this fluid, absorbed by the lymphatic ducts, becomes a kind of water that purifies the entire system, irrigating it to the bloodstream in the heart, where it will be redistributed and purged. The lymphatic system has several nodes where this fluid is reserved and accumulated, called lymph nodes, where this clear fluid is administered. Me. Everything is so perfect. I am. Sure. It is the same mind that designed it, the same pulses of data that after trillions of years learned to generate information networks, and evolution is nothing more than the manifestation of those data proven after so much time of interaction. The circulatory system is like the system of connection between all dimensions, death and life, the flow of existence, where souls travel through bodies reincarnating, making their own paths in herds, in monads, and still being all one. The network of blood vessels is like the paths of our life, which bring us people who can change our way of living, of seeing things, who give us positive or negative things, and sometimes we are the ones who travel these paths, which sooner or later lead us to the great paths of existence, where we realize that, despite our differences, we all share the same destiny and origin, the heart, me, the heart of the system, the universal source, I am. And you will understand that this source is not in itself who produces the souls, who generates the blood, but that the source is the pulse, the heartbeat, that which keeps us moving, that calls us to activate ourselves, to manifest our will to advance and transform ourselves. Me. That's why the heart is so important. Not because it represents the original source of who we are, but because it's the engine that drives us to discover who we are. I am. Unconditional, it impels everyone to be, without judging what crosses it. We are the ones who must discern what of everything it transports makes us good or bad. Me. Give and receive. The circulatory system is like that organic, balanced economy that reminds us of the importance of everyone having what they need and that not everyone needs the same thing. I am. Harmony. Each organ knows what it needs. When you do the digestion, the blood will be asked in the digestive organs and its quantity will decrease in less required parts. This is what makes us sleepy when we digest. Or when it comes to reproducing, the blood travels to the genitals, decreasing its amount in the brain, activating more the animal aspect. A human adult has an average of between 4.5 and 5.5 liters of blood circulating inside, which must be managed very well in use. Therefore, it is a perfect economy, because when a part of the body has fulfilled its function, it ceases to require large quantities and it can be used for other parts. Me. A perfect economic balance, a regulated administration. Why is this happening? I am. Because when an organism knows what it wants and what it needs to fulfill its purpose, it doesn't require anything else. And those around him know that if such a person is not fulfilled, it will not be beneficial to them. 
Confidence in the task of each organ is crucial. Humans do not trust other humans because many humans act like viruses and bacteria, parasites and microbes damaging the system, causing the body to attack itself. Self-confidence gives confidence to others, and productivity, demonstrated in facts, inspires confidence in the whole. Cells trust. A neuron must trust an intestinal cell. A sperm must trust a red blood cell. Everything must be in tune. Me. It is confidence that gives stability, and facts give confidence. The circulatory system trusts each organ, each cell, so it delivers freely without expecting anything in return. It is the inspiration for an economy of the future, which is neither communist nor capitalist. I am. It is organic and hardy. Me. Thus, like all red blood cells, we unite in harmony, in a spiritual plasma that unites us, blood brothers. I am. Globules are the souls that travel through the bodies exchanging, and the veins and arteries are the channels through which souls manifest. And to manifest themselves, they must all pass through the heart. Me. I am the channel of souls, and they all inhabit my heart. I am. And from him, I urge you to manifest the world that I am.